It's another year. Another year without his dad. Another year of grieving. And another year of taking on nearly 200 kilometers on a bike to raise awareness about ALS disease. Jeff Burnett is hoping to inspire more conversation about a disease that robbed his father of the ability to move, speak, eat, and eventually breathe. When I first went at it, um, you know, I was unprepared. I just, I wanted to do something, um, to put closure to something. The entire time my father had the disease, I documented it, as many people are aware. And it was just to evoke a different lens on disease in general, but certainly ALS, Lou Gehrig's. I didn't, I didn't have any notion that it would be what it became. Um, people from all over the place would reach out, tell me their stories, the events that they had created, um, and how it encouraged others to want to try and make a change. And, and you know, we all have access to, to these platforms and, and things online, and everybody has a voice. Burnett will get on his bike on June 25th, just outside of his childhood home in Milton. He will embark on a journey he says is all about facing adversity, fighting emotions and anguish, while taking the route to his father's resting place. I'll start right here, uh, Middleton Crescent at 6 a.m. Um, in front of my childhood home as I did last year, and a lot of the neighbors still live here that I grew up with and had come out and supported. Um, I'll make my way up to Owen Sound in the route that my father used to take my brother and I on, my mother, uh, which are a lot of back roads, but going through communities like Ballinfad, uh, you know, Dundalk, Laurel, everything on the way up. And eventually I get to Highway 6 and, and, and continue my, my way, hopefully not stopping as much. Because um, a lot of things happen off the camera. My feet were swollen, they were bleeding, they were bandaged. Uh, I was putting them in coolers of ice. Um, but. You know, I hope to arrive mid-afternoon as I did last time. Uh, I hope it's, it's great weather and there will be people there, um, you know, waiting for my arrival if I can make it. Canada Day will be the one-year anniversary of his father's death. With the success of his ALS journey last year, coupled with the support he is getting now, Burnett says he feels extremely humbled. People have, have been incredibly supportive. They've been incredibly candid and open. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always fascinated by the humanity and, and the love that people have that don't, don't know you. Um, I feel encouraged that there's a lot more life to be had. And, and by doing things like this, if I can unify a community or create more conversation and do it in such a way that carries grace and love, um, it's great. So I actually feel uh, incredible a year later. Feeling incredible and bittersweet to begin this journey again in front of the home that holds the most cherished memories of his father. My father was an amazing man. He is an amazing man. He's an amazing memory. Um, he, he was everything. He, he, we, we played hockey on the street. We played baseball on the street as kids growing up. Um, I had a younger brother who died not, not far from here. He was hit by a car. Um, and there's just a tremendous amount of memory. Um, as, a, as a father now of two young kids creating those same memories. <laughs> I just, I feel compelled to start at where it all started. And while fighting back tears, Burnett wanted to make sure he expressed how thankful he is to all his followers. I love you all for I love you all for support.